beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy any time we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy any time we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to that. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so on you and you here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed Come, let us adore Him. Oh, God. Oh, come, let us adore Him. Adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. worship you and we adore you tonight I know that you are walking in the midst of your people Jesus is in this place not the Holy Spirit not angels I know when his presence is in a building Jesus we thank you we pray make your presence known Father, make your presence known. Lord Jesus, make your presence known in our hearts. This is what I pray tonight. I pray, make your presence known. Make your presence known. Make your presence known in our hearts. We thank you for your presence. You have come to reveal yourself to us. And we embrace that presence. Walk among us tonight. Walk among us tonight. Plant a fire in our hearts. We choose to honor you with our lives, with our hearts, and everything that we have. We're not in a hurry. Lord, we bless you for your mighty, mighty presence. I'm telling you the presence of Jesus is in this place. 
I know he is in this place. The spirit and the bride say come. The spirit and the bride say come. Let your will be done tonight. Let us see your face. your face once again to hear your voice once again to see your face once again once again In the glory I will stand I will stand and lift my hands in the glory I will receive every miracle you have In the glory, we will stand, we will stand and lift our hands. In the glory, we will receive every miracle. Elohim Madonna Elohim Madonna Elohim Elohim Madonna Come on, go ahead and pray in tongues. There is a ladder we are climbing in the spirit tonight. It's a night of encounter. We will sing in the spirit. For who shall ascend unto the hill of the Lord? And who shall stand in his holy place? We accept the heel of the Lord. Forget about your weakness of your body. Sakatapratas is the protocol for an encounter. Is the protocol for an encounter. We are tapping into the laws of the spirit that will open us into the vistas of His presence. Sakatapratas. 
Edify yourself in the spirit. Activate your organs of interaction with the realm of the spirit. Is the law of the secret place. Is the law of the secret place. When you seek him, you will find him. Outside, participate. The Spirit of God is mighty outside. Charge your spirit man. Activate your capacity to comprehend spiritual things. Let him arise above your needs, above your accolades. of your presence. Expose yourself to that atmosphere, that Shekinah, the glory that changes, the glory that transforms in the glory where seed time and harvest coexist together. His name is Jesus Christ. He died and rose and gave me victory. I have been. Come on, sing. We're just going to press a little further. We are sons. We're not serving an idol. Is there? Is Jesus? Miracles are already taking place as we're worshiping. He died and he rose. be the name of the Lord. Father, tonight we desire an encounter. Open us up to portals, realms, vistas in the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, open us up to these deep dimensions. Pass me not, O oh gentle Savior. Hear my humble cry. While on others thou art calling, do not pass me by. Sing it, Savior, Savior, Savior.
is the solid rock I stand all on the ground. I don't care what they are. Sing and sound. All on the ground. On Christ, the solid rock, all of Father, tonight, reveal yourself to us. Show us something about you that we have never seen. Put a fire in our spirit. Let there be a displacing of everything that has taken your place in our hearts. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Just sit as quiet as you can. No distraction. Let's keep this atmosphere. As solemn as it is, Jesus is in this place. I want to share with you a few things tonight that I believe will change our lives remarkably. Tonight is a night of encounter. I'm not here to preach tonight. Tonight is a night of encounter. There must come a point in your life where you will encounter God not just to be taught about Him. Just sit as quiet as you can and let's let the Holy Spirit pick us in this atmosphere. There is a flight in the Spirit. Psalm 63 I want to share with you a very powerful mystery. Tonight is a night of encounter. The Lord told me this. Tonight is a night of encounter. Many of you tonight will be caught up into heavenly experiences i told you tonight is an encounter many of you will see things you have never seen before many of you will hear sounds that you have not heard before help us tonight psalm 63 psalm 63 Psalm 63 O oh God Thou art my God Early will I seek Thee My soul thirsted for Thee My flesh longed for Thee In a dry and thirsty land Where there is no water Verse 2, to see thy power and thy glory, so as I have seen thee in the sanctuary, because thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise you. Hallelujah. I want to talk to you tonight from the depths of my heart. I'm not really preaching tonight. I want everybody to listen. Hallelujah. Lord God Almighty, you know that song. Holy, holy Lord. Lord God Almighty. There's only one word to me. There's only one word to describe 
and only one word comes to me. when you truly stand before his presence only one word to describe Holy, that's the word. Holy Lord, Lord God Almighty. Holy, Holy Lord. Hallelujah. Let me tell you a little story about my life. I have been very, very concerned about the way people are being built in the body of Christ. And every time I say this, people misinterpret it for pride or arrogance. But the way God trained me it's not the way many people have been trained in the body of Christ and I know that something is wrong hallelujah there is a lot of jumping of processes in the progressions of the spirit there is a lot of seeming principles of shortcuts to access authentic power and the presence of God to an extent that there are many people who claim that they are having spiritual encounters but there's nothing about their life so many people lie to us that they see angels and there is nothing there is no reaction in their lives many people tell us they see beings in the spirit let me tell you something if you see anything that is outside this realm something must happen to you hallelujah I want to share with you something very powerful I want to share with you how I began my journey in the spirit and how the Holy Ghost led me and you will see the reason why many people may never find God in terms of encounter there are many preachers lying to people many preachers deceiving people just because of they are not fake they are just not telling the truth hallelujah it doesn't take an encounter to speak English. Utterance is not the same as oratory. You can get oratory by good education. You know what utterance is? Utterance is the bridge between your encounter and the people you want to communicate it to. The encounter is so deep, you do not have the frame, the framework of the lingua franca to help them see the other side of what you are saying and so paul prayed and said I've, I've, there is something in my spirit but how to make you see it pray for me that god will grant me an ability that is not human an ability to make you enter my experience as i speak to you this is what is called utterance there is a lot of powerlessness in the body of christ and now I know I'm not old enough and experienced enough to challenge many things yet. Let me tell you something. I do not boast of knowing all the principles of church growth, principles of prosperity, principles of increase, principles of training and mentorship and building people. But there is one thing I know. I know the protocol of an encounter. This one, a man did not teach me. Paul said, I know a man 14 years ago in Arabia. Whether he was in the body or in the spirit, I do not know. But he said that he saw things that were not permitted for men to utter. There were things that John saw and he said, seal this. Don't bring this. The people do not have the capacity to take this depth of encounter. Seal it. It's for an appointed time. There is a lot a lot of theory and and these theories are not wrong but let me tell you when a man meets god when you hear him there is an anointing that brings you into his experience 
hallelujah that's what happened prophet samuel was a man who had encountered god saul came into that atmosphere when he entered an anointing compelled him into the prophetic all of a sudden he began to prophesy accurately the bible says he prophesied naked from morning till night and men looked and said if saul or it wasn't because saul was anointed there was an atmosphere that pulled him into that experience the presence of this man called samuel hallelujah one time they came to capture the armies i mean they came to capture the prophet of god elijah and when they came the philistines i believe they they, they, they gathered around and he prayed and the servant was perplexed because see he was sitting in another realm his confidence was not of this realm and the servant was shaky and he said oh lord would you not bring this man into my experience let him see what gives me this audacity let him see what informs my confidence all of a sudden his eyes were open and he saw that them were greater than what they are see you will never understand a man's passion until you know what drives him until you see what he has seen until you hear what he has heard and the bible says moses was at the back side tending his father in law's sheep and he saw a bush the bible didn't say many people saw only one man moses and when he went there he had an encounter hallelujah there are so many people looking for power and and that's not wrong there are so many people looking for power they want the power to heal the sick they want the power to do this and that and that because according to their church growth seminar they were told that if you have power and you have results men will come to your church or to your assembly whatever it is let me tell you the truth i'm about to correct some things and set a right very very wrong when i began my pursuit for god listen to me i had no ambition to be a preacher whatsoever hallelujah if anybody would have told me that today i'll be standing taking the message of the kingdom i would never believe it hallelujah there are people already who sit down is part of their ambition they think it's a profession they are so desperate to start ministry they are so desperate to gather members they've not done anything they have the name of the ministry already they have the name of where the church will be i'm not saying what god gave them they sat down and pushed they have the name of everything their cathedral the kind of bosses that will come nonsense and they do not know the person that they are going to represent can i tell you something almost everybody god called was on his way running away from god's presence if you really know what ministry is hallelujah this is the reason why many people do not experience the presence of god and every time they find a man who has followed the protocol of an encounter they begin to bring all sorts of criticisms because certain possibilities do not exist in their life and they do not know that there is a price it's more than bible college it's more than theological seminary it's more than longevity around a church building hallelujah are you hearing what i'm saying i began to seek god with so much passion listen i remember i will never forget second of december 2002 i was sleeping in the night and a man walked into my room sleeping and all of a sudden i felt it not in a vision i was not in any vision i was i, I was i was conscious of myself and he tapped me I felt the tap of a man and I was alone I was shocked I was afraid all of a sudden I turned I didn't see any man but it left an experience it was as if it was like a force at once I knew things I did not learn 
I started crying until morning. I felt, I felt filthy. I felt unclean. Practically unclean. It wasn't because I was fornicating or doing any bad thing. A presence, a realm was introduced to my life that rattled my theology, rattled everything that I had known. For days, I was crying. I could not even eat. Let me tell you the truth. I was sobbing and crying. I was not in control of the tears. I didn't understand the presence of God. Do you know? Because of that, the passion that was in my spirit. I got a notebook. I still have the notebook. I wrote a letter to all my friends, my extended family in the village. That was all I knew. It was a letter on rapture that Jesus was coming and everyone needed to pay attention. That was all that I knew. There was such a passion for souls, not ministry, not power, not healing, not deliverance, not prosperity, not money, not influence. Souls, the heartbeat of the Father. God hides himself in light. He will give you a glimpse and hide himself so that you will look for him. Hallelujah. I, I always waited for the night time where everybody would go and sleep and then I would wake up and these encounters I kept writing letters I carried a bulk of my clothes I told my mother to give me a bulk of her clothes and a number of people I called my brother who was then studying in Shika came home and we prayed on the clothes I drove down to an orphanage home I went to visit those orphans and do a lot of things i wasn't in ministry the bible says the spirit moved jesus drove him i didn't even know what the name of that experience was all i knew was that it was an encounter no one could deny hallelujah people would come around me and just sit quietly and within minutes they are sober and they are telling me the problems of their lives i wasn't a preacher I would study the word chapter after chapter i couldn't understand anything at that time i was having very serious eye problem i couldn't even look at light for a long time and i said if my eyes will come out let it come out passion i would cry and tell the lord reveal yourself to me who is this stranger that walked into my room didn't show me his face didn't know anything about the holy spirit hallelujah years before that time we had had encounter the baptism of the holy spirit and as very very small boys we did wonderful things we were not even conscious that the things that were happening were miracles it was dramatic js2 js2 I was made the timekeeper of the whole school because there was something exceptional about my life js2 every day pastor quarter to five somebody wakes me quarter to five without failing somebody will wake me i rang the bell five o'clock on the dot i want you to know that this the quality of christians that men of God are marketing and advertising will not stand the test of time. They lack the impetus to endure. Hallelujah. And after that encounter, I began to pursue God. I, I had no business with ministry. In fact, let me tell you something, Pastor. The first crusade that we had, there was no name of ministry. We had to come together and Jimmy told me what would be the name of this ministry now. I said, I don't know. God didn't give me any name. Let's find something. I can't even remember the name we used. Trinity something. One kind of name like that. Just to be able to explain to PFN we are coming for a crusade. And now I see a lot of people all around. Moving with bodyguards and moving with people. Claiming that they are doing ministry. 
and they mentored the life of very wrong men of God who are out of the program of God. Don't use cars and suits and English and crowd to page that a man is close to the presence of God. You will be greatly deceived. Motivational speakers park stadiums. Are they anointed? But they park stadiums with people paying thousands of dollars to hear them speak. It doesn't take too much to gather people. Hallelujah. Is someone hearing me tonight? And I began this encounter. Let me tell you something. I would pray for days. I wasn't looking for ministry. Show me your face. Show me your glory, oh God. That's all I want. A time came, it was, it was a matter of life and death. I remember I would go to life way life way and then I had I had do you know I will be in the restaurant in community market immediately I finish eating there's one anywhere I hear them playing a tape there were Christian bookstores around I'll just go and sit down there I knew almost all of them I was hungry I spent my money on books books on purpose i will never forget writing an article about myself if i were dead that's what i wrote that was the article i wrote how people may come for my funeral come for this and that and that i did crazy things hallelujah at the back of Ramat, you know that bush there they started developing it now it was at the back of Ramat. that's where i would go and shout like a madman in the night saying lord will you reveal yourself or kill me don't criticize a man till you know the passion and the story behind the glory god never gave me any assurance that i'll be standing and listening to people but he gave me one assurance he said early will i seek you i will show you some scriptures tonight hallelujah i'll never forget dramatic encounters i was staying in Danfodio, and i remember what used to happen people will come to my room when they come to it was myself steve strings and andy ambassad who were roommates room 155 o block people used to come in the morning in the morning i was a strange person i could be lying down and the next thing the moment i see an angel steve strings or somebody the moment he may just be playing the guitar and something happens the power of god is breaking out people outside the room are falling under the anointing it was a strange life i would climb on top of vet medicine there was one empty place at the very top in the night when people are sleeping i would sit there i had a chair and i would sit there and cry in the night and say will you not reveal yourself to me oh god Holy Spirit, I wait on you. Holy Spirit, I wait on you. Hallelujah. When I was staying in area BZ, I used to seek the Lord. I was staying alone. Well, with a roommate, but mostly alone. And this is where the encounters of my life took another dimension. I was broke. Sometimes I would not have money. But there was a guava tree in front of the house. I would go and plug the guava there and eat it and take water. And say, Lord, I give you praise. And I would lock up myself praying. And then at a point, listen to me, certain things started happening in my life. I would be praying. I didn't even know it was called the cloud of his presence i stand before god and i tell you the truth i lie not a literal mist you know how vapor is that's how it will enter the room and i was being careful so that i wouldn't dabble into any demonic thing i had to search the scripture and i saw when the cloud of god's glory entered the temple and the priest could not even minister again it's in your bible 
hallelujah i'll never forget praying for somebody who had chicken pox god is my witness it was in less than three hours or so the person came back and almost 90 percent of what he had had disappeared and there was nobody to clap for me i didn't even know it was a spectacular miracle you know the problem with a lot of people there are too many people to clap for you when you have not done anything so it makes us believe we gather around a lot of people who are not passionate about god i was seeking the face of god with all my heart then there used to be lots of fellowships on campus to do a lot of things i would just go behind sunday school building and sit down there and i used the worship that was being played by several campus fellowships for my spiritual look let me tell you something this is the reason why you may talk about somebody and god will judge you at once because he has a track record of sacrifice there is there is it's like blood on the altar that speaks hallelujah when reinhard bonke was coming for crusade I remember that time I went I've shared with you the story six hours I was standing no seat a pregnant woman was standing close to me small time the woman would lean on me I said madam I understand you are pregnant but this 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 whole thing I'm we're all tired here but I was determined my life is a testimony of dramatic encounters I started having all of these encounters and I'll never forget, listen, one night, the longing of my soul was satisfied when Jesus Christ appeared to me. I have seen him. It's not because I read it in scripture. This is why I can tell you with authority that many people who claim they have seen Jesus did not see Jesus. There is nothing that left. There was no deposit in their life. If you see Jesus, even if it's for one minute, something will enter your life that you will run with for a lifetime. This is the Jesus I saw. When Saul, on his way to Damascus, met this Jesus, what happened to him? A hardened criminal. At once, he broke down. He called him Lord. Saul was fasting for three days and three nights. He was blind. The presence of God made a man blind physically and there are people who claim they see Jesus every day fornicating around seeing Jesus stealing around seeing Jesus doing all kinds of things they say they are seeing Jesus that's not the Jesus I saw that's not the Jesus I saw for when you see him when Zechariah saw just an angel an angel he made Zechariah dumb an angel hallelujah when I saw Jesus I was flat on the ground goodness I'm telling you I looked like a speck of dust in this majestic I could not believe that this was the man preachers were trying to represent when you meet Jesus it will change your life it will overhaul your priority about ministry it will no longer be an issue of denomination or an issue of sect an issue of i was this i was that when you meet jesus it will rattle your your whole theology to its foundation i felt as if i was a dead man i could not even see his face let me tell you the truth it was the brightness the, I, I, I don't know how to begin to explain it to you and he stood there his robe was white it was not like physical clothes that you can see like this it was like clothes but it was like the clothes was attached to the person's body so it's not like something you remove and put back it's not our concept of clothes no hallelujah and light brothers and sisters light was emanating from him the christ and all he did to me was to stretch his hands towards me and he stretched that giant hand imagine like stretching an an aircraft 
over a fly that was how it was and light light that i cannot explain that light came upon me i don't know how god did it that he did not kill me when i got up from that vision there was a fire in my bones that i will live and die for i've been captured by your love i can't explain now you have me and i'm forever changed i've abandoned everything i've ever known and i surrender this life is not my own I belong to you I belong to you I belong to you I belong to you nobody coerced me i surrendered my heart this one is different from coming to do this funny born again thing that people do in church people just march and come out lord jesus lord jesus and he's pinching his neighbor i surrender all i surrender all immediately he finishes the the boyfriend or whoever is waiting for the person and then they ask him are you born again and the brother or the sister they mean to say have you ever come out they say yes now I've even been baptized come on now let me tell you there are many people who think they are saved and God does not know them I know some of you will be angry for this statement I'm making Christianity with no transformation impossible except it's not the, the Christ that died for our sins hallelujah this was the vision that opened me up into ministry I had been seeing a lot of encounters listen somebody was pursuing me and i went and i stood somewhere in a room all of a sudden i was moved to look through the window when i looked through that window i saw an endless sea of people it was it was as far as my eyes could see and they were talking they were lamenting it was a crowd of people hallelujah after seasons of trainings and buildings and their sound started zooming to my ears and then eventually it looked like they zoomed those who were in front and i had them it was a it was a sound of languishing and pain it was not a sound of celebration the people were crying and languishing in pain and this was what they said they looked at me and they said there's no food and no water all of a sudden in the vision it became like i had the keys to the storehouse of that entire crowd of people i was holding the keys and i told them i asked them i said who is the cause why you do not have food and water and they said you are the one and i said oh my god i was moved with compassion i started crying and i told them i'm coming right away to help you but there were people who had chased me and i was afraid of them but i took the step to open the door when i opened the door there was a gigantic man waiting for me and he was in the similitude of the holy spirit he now held my hands and he said let's walk together i will walk with you in this journey are you getting the point then he began to walk with me we were to jump from building to building just like structures like you have the student's hostel at the top from one end to the other and he jumped to the other side and he sat down there was a small ladder that connected the buildings and i was trying to walk slowly and he was looking at me and laughing and that was how i woke up all of a sudden my life changed i would be in a meeting and would hold hands together just to share the grace quietly seated here and people in rows who fall under the anointing and i could not understand I would stay in the secret place praying and building people would come to look for me 
the way they will know I'm around is that a great distance before they arrive, people will not be able to cross that circumference. What is your experience like? You who has already called yourself pastor, what is your experience? What message do you have to give your generation? That's why we do a lot of copying and pasting. A lot of copying and, and all kinds of things. We preach messages without power, without transformation, because they do not come from a depth of truth. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. Every time you see me worship him, every time you see me do the things that I do, let me tell you something. Whenever there is any seed of pride in me, it doesn't take a long time for God to copy it. There are too many encounters in my life. All it takes is for God to refresh any of them. Any of them breaks me down. Many of you do not have encounters. That's why a man of God will keep moving. He's falling but he cannot see. There's no encounter to remind him of where he was coming from. And you can begin to sleep around with members of the church. Enjoy prosperity. When jeeps start coming and cars start coming. Whether you pray or not, you preach well. Let me tell you the truth. The army that God is raising is an army that understands the one they are representing. They know him. They've had an encounter with him. That's the only condition to be able to die for him. It's impossible to die for a man you do not know. It's impossible to die for a man you cannot, you cannot relate with. Angels bow before him. It's beautiful. There have been so many encounters in my life. One time, I was in a vision and there was, it was outside. All the doors were closed. All the shops were closed. It was like a community. And I saw people sitting down. Sick people all around. And I was looking at them. And I said, where are the doctors? Where is the hospital? These people are dying. What is all this? I was shouting, speaking to the air. The people were so weak and helpless. They could not even talk to me. And then I heard a voice that spoke to me from heaven. He said, go and heal them. Go and deliver them. Hallelujah. One time when I was praying, I was worshiping for a season. I began to sense an unusual activity of the presence of God in my life. I would worship and pray and build myself. Listen, I want to give you a very big key to my life. And that night, it was a very deep encounter with God. Hallelujah. And while I was in that place of encounter, listen the lord spoke to me and he said from today i give you my presence as a gift this is what god told me hallelujah from that day god opened my eyes and i saw a huge angel i had never seen him and i said lord what is the name of this angel and the lord told me his name is called the angel of the lord's presence he said this is the angel that will walk with you the angel of the Lord's presence hallelujah this is the reason behind some of these mighty manifestations that you see that a lot of people do not understand I have suffered for this anointing I've been criticized for this anointing people have called me all kinds of names my mother is alive she came here you have seen her my father is alive I grew up in the midst of people I didn't come out from a wilderness. My life has been an open book from birth to death. The Bible says, Oh Lord my God, early will I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. It says to see your power and your glory. This is the passion that is the missing ingredient every time i go for meetings after the meetings you see lots of people coming to kneel down oh man of god lay hands because we have emphasized impartations above encounters so people believe 
you can take a man's spiritual journey with one laying on of hands do you know that all the people that the apostles laid hands on and the patriarchs of old they had they they went through the wilderness together they saw certain things together the laying on of hands did not rob them of true spiritual experience hallelujah i remember my first encounter with a demon real physical demon listen let me share with you i'm sharing with you i'll put a few scriptures and we'll pray because tonight tonight god is going to give some people real encounters hallelujah it was in chapel one night i finished praying listen true story god is my witness none of these things i'm telling you are stage managed and the generator then they just made that generator there and i was just going to turn to the edge of it listen i saw a real physical demon i saw it with my eyes and he just shouted and told me get back that's what he told me before he finished saying get back i was already praying in tongues it was not premeditated and it just went vanished like that from that time authority came upon my life to cast out every kind of demon and devil anywhere brothers and sisters the ancient knew the value of encounters this is what we do not know especially preachers in our generation everybody just believes I have an occupation okay you studied mass communication or French and you don't know what else to do with your life you just say I sense the, the call of God upon my life now after NYSE what will I do say, oh, yeah, try ministry now I say talk you were a very good Bible study teacher you say truly I was they even gave me price you just go and dapple into the vineyard believing that you are going to be effective you think so go and ask the devil how herbalists are trained go and ask the devil how false prophets are trained go and ask the devil how witches and wizards are trained you think it's an ambition it's a fraternity it's a sacrifice with their life they sell their soul to satan those ones have collected the mark of the beast already hallelujah that's why you can stand and tell the sick be healed and nothing happens there is no experience demons are not idiots they have followed the track record listen something happened there was somebody when we started koinonia he was coming he was in the occult i'm sure one i can't remember his name now one young guy he was in the occult they used to come and sit when people started sitting outside quietly they had seen me this gentleman was sent it's just that we don't we don't share one tenth of the testimonies that happen it will amaze you do you know what this guy told me i went on a retreat i remember one time i went on a retreat the lord asked me to go on a retreat 72 hours my eyes did not see light whether it was day or night i didn't even know what time it was at all whether it was three o'clock i kept everything 72 hours dry i'm not talking about this kind of fast that you take granite in the afternoon later in the evening you are you can't even wait quarter to six you're already peeling the orange the the type your heart panting after god not looking for power hallelujah do you know after i pray and i finish that experience the day they brought the gentleman to me and i was about to pray this is not an issue of being oppressed that you are casting out the devil this is somebody that is in occult aware he knows you know what he told me he said sir we have been watching you and he said while you were praying he mentioned the place he said for 72 hours in the realm of the spirit their eyes were open and they were watching hallelujah and he was telling me how that they strike a lot of men of god it's like a spiritual meter that's why a man can be backsliding and nothing is happening it's the deceit of the devil to make you feel things are moving all right your prayer life has died nothing wrong is happening you are not even studying nothing else is it's like a meter it will keep going down 
down down you will not observe it it will just keep going down one day the devil will hit you once this is the reason why you will see a great man people don't just fall like that brothers and sisters are you getting what i'm saying samson slept with a harlot true or false without prayer he went and removed the gate of the city that god is showing you mercy over your life does not mean he's endorsing your state he's challenging you to rise higher this is the message you will not find in church everybody tells people things are all right jesus has died wonderful you are now born again do everything just book in the name of jesus give him all the praise shout do everything you want to do and there's all kinds of madness and hell is raging war believers are not sensitive hallelujah one of the greatest assets i have in my life is not revelation it's not understanding it's my love for god and it's like a cancer and i trust god to infect you with it tonight a love for god that nothing can take not power not anointing not influence people call me all kinds of names i don't care what you call me apostle daddy mommy uncle call whatever you want to call me that's that's your i thank god for the honor but there is something that i've seen that nothing in time can take it away hallelujah let me show you two scriptures i saw this scripture in 2005 and it changed my life forever john 14 21 mighty god john 14 21 let's read one to read please can we have it from amplified do you have amplified let's have it from amplified the person who has my commands and keeps them is the one who really loves me and what's his reward for loving me it says and whoever really loves me will be loved by my father are you seeing it now i want to show you the protocol of our encounter and i too will love him and will show reveal manifest myself to him i will let myself be clearly seen by him and make myself real to him is that in your bible there is a protocol god does not just reveal himself to people because they are crying or because they are praying many people want to encounter god everybody cry even in churches we hold all kinds of three days one week revival you see the poster revival exclamation mark revival two exclamation mark and then another revival three exclamation mark revival 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 and you see the people who are coming for the revival strolling around and coming to sit and the man of god who is now supposed to bring the revival who needs revival himself will now come with his his, his prepared manual and talk all kinds of stories and people just know they say mm, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and they now say it's time to pray and everybody just finds a little corner and is just sleeping and snoring at the end of the program they say they've held this year's revival you know what a revival is a revival is an awakening that keeps a city and the community stands still we don't read a lot of history we don't read a lot of where we are coming from the world's revival was so powerful that men will carry the newspaper as soon as they start reading the newspaper revival will start in their house what is our concept of revival the average young person in this generation cannot define what a revival is we have not seen it What is our concept of Christianity? What do we really want to achieve? Ask the average believer, why do you go to church? It tells you to go and worship. What is that? 
it's just because we grew up knowing that you are a Christian and it's good for you to go to church. Second Corinthians or First Corinthians. Lord, we bless you. The Lord is redefining someone's Christianity tonight. Removing the things that are unnecessary. Verse 9. 1 Corinthians 2 verse 9. But as it is written, I have not seen, nor ear heard, neither has it entered into the heart of man, the things which God has prepared for who? Them that love him, not them that pray to him, not them that want to serve him, them that love God. Let me tell you, this is the missing ingredient in the body of Christ. It's not Rema. We have enough revelation. There are powerful men and women of God. I attest to it in Nigeria, in Africa, in the world. There are people who have explored the portals of revelation back to back. What we lack is love. And when I say love, I don't just mean love by giving. I mean passion and priority. God has very little priority in our generation. Let me tell you the truth. Very little priority. Very little. There are few parents. The average parent in Nigeria, they believe in God, but God is not a priority. Hallelujah. Ask the average young man what his pursuit is. Either to go to school or to go and serve or to get a wife or to get some kinds of things. Imagine, imagine, this is the whole circumference of our Christian pursuit. Ask a man of God, what are you seeking? He tells you by the grace of God, we should grow to 10,000 and 15,000 and then have our own auditorium, have our own buses, start making our own calendar, then go on air. Is this our circumference of the pursuit of God? I love him with my life. He's my priority. I'm obsessed about him. And that has nothing to do with ministry. It's my default state. When I sing, he knows I'm not pretending it. I love him more than miracles. Let him take all the anointing from my life. Let him take the mean. If God asks me, Pastor, and tells me, close Koinonia, close up here and I pack up everything, I promise you to God who has created me this would be the last service that's the end of it everybody will feel bad everybody will complain and say why some serious people will even say let's let's resurrect it you can go ahead and face God alone but I'll be so happy and I'll tell him Lord what next if God tells me go and join a church or a ministry and be an usher I will do that gladly from the depths of my heart I'm not minding anybody's recognition I don't want no recognition from anybody when you see God commit spiritual power to a man ask questions ask questions God is not stupid that's why a lot of people come oh God give me power I want to speak somebody sent me a text he said I cannot imagine how you speak and people fall I want it to I said go and ask God the guy felt disappointed Go and ask God. I'm not a herbalist. I don't manufacture miracles in little dots of, of, of oil and, and communion and all of that. No. We want to jump the process of genuine encounter and intimacy. Yet we want power. That's why I question a lot of what we call power in the body of Christ. A man who has so much power without encounter is questionable. But right now, everybody is chasing power, power. Prophetic power, apostolic power, miraculous power. People keep hopping around. I've given warning. Nobody should come and stand in front of my house waiting for any impartation. I'm not a herbalist. 
you can come for counseling you can come for koinonia god will bless you listen i believe in the laying on of hands we lay hands and we do impartation for all the people but we must lead you into a of desperation and encounter with the spirit say amen two more scriptures let me tell you how you know that God is not a priority if you attempt to live without him it's a sign that you do not need him in your life whatever you can live without is not a priority to you are you getting my point whatever you can live without is not a priority Air is a priority you cannot live without it food is a priority you cannot live without it if you can live without God don't tell me he's a priority to you there are many of us outside inside you are looking at me right now you know between you and God that God is not a priority in your life you may even be in ministry you may be doing very well but is God a I'm not asking you whether you are born again or not. I know you are born again. I'm talking of a priority. That if you are to delete many things in your life, God will still remain. Hallelujah. There is a law in the spirit. Jeremiah 29. <sighs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. 11 to 13. We'll read it quickly. Because I want us to pray. The Lord wants to plant a fire in our hearts tonight and reorder our spiritual pursuit aright. That beyond revelation, we will love Him. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you. We know this scripture so well. Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. Next verse. Then shall ye call upon me and ye shall go and pray unto me and I will hearken unto you here's the condition verse 13 this is a law in the spirit never forget it for as long as you live read it everybody want to read and find me when ye search for me with all your heart this is the law for finding god in the spirit you will never never have an encounter with god until your all seeks him if you just seek him with part of you if you seek him with an ulterior motive you will if you seek him because of business or marriage or money like many of us are seeking god god will give you the car god will give you the marriage god will give you all of these things we seek different things that god has we seek his hands we seek all kinds of things here is the law write it if anybody ever ask you what is the protocol for an encounter this is it you will seek me look at me let me tell you what it means to seek god to seek god is not to pray this is what a lot of people have been taught as seeking god prayer is not necessarily seeking god to seek god is not even worship because that's what many of us still believe to seek God is not to fast. To seek God is to cultivate a desire that seeks to make Him the priority of your life at any cost. That has nothing to do with prayer. It is when that happens, prayer can be a machinery to help you get there. Fasting can be a machinery to help you get there. Worship can be a machinery to get there. To help you get there but in themselves they cannot give you i know someone and he's i think he's one of the greatest person i've met in my life people talk about kings of fasting and people who fast i know somebody who fasted he rounded up last year 400 days 400 days very quiet brother nobody even knows him around 400 days i had the privilege of rounding up his fast with him and i prayed for him and laid my hands when he finished the 400 days six to six for 400 days in my life even in history 
I'm not saying you should do it. I'm just telling you that there are people like that. Yet you will still see that there are certain dimensions that he has not entered. So it's not just about fasting. People brag with fasting. They, they intimidate others with fasting. They make it look, how many days have you fasted? One will say three. Try your word. Say try. Another person said all kinds of things. If fasting alone brought people into the place of power, some people would have brought the throne of God to the earth and be sitting on it by now. Let me tell you, fasting will not in its own just make God reveal himself to you. The psalmist said, as the deer pants after the water pools. Bishop Oedeko said something. He said, if you want to know the secret of the hand of God in my life, you must know my heartbeat for God. I know a lot of preachers who do not have the heartbeat for God. I go for meetings and I talk with preachers. After a powerful service, they look at me and they admire deeply the things that God has done in my life. And when they come and sit down, 90% of them don't ask questions. They are just looking for an envelope. And they put offering and sign checks. Where is my PA? Bring check. And you, you sign it. You, you really think it will give you an encounter. I believe in giving and all of that. We've taught this there. And they just drop it. And they say, pray for me. When you meet a man of the spirit, ask questions. Don't just kneel down and say, lay hands on me. What was the secret of this glory? I know lots of preachers that teach well. But three days after they are teaching, people have forgotten everything they have said. But I know certain people, Reinhard Bonke is one of them. You meet him once, your life will never be the same. I remember when he came for a crusade, I think in Makodi. Dr. Paul Enenche said something. He said after the crusade, they should book the room and leave it 24 hours. The room that Paul Enenche slept in. Hallelujah. And when Paul, uh, when, 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 um, uh, what's his name now? The evangelist. Reinhard Bonke. When he left, Enenche said they, should, they shouldn't repair it. He said all the people, they should not come and make it. They should leave it as dirty as it is. And he came there and laid down on that exact spot. And said, Lord, just give me the hunger that you gave this man. I'm not asking for power. Just give me his hunger. That's how to pray. That's how to receive that's how to encounter power you are looking for the wrong things the hand of a man the wallet of a man all kinds of things look for the heart for God that that man has and you've gotten the secret of his anointing this one you cannot receive it as an impartation you must desire and covet and pursue the Bible says there are many things that God has in store hallelujah something happened i think a week or, or two or, i think a week ago i was sharing with the students school of ministry hallelujah i wanted to listen to a message and i searched for it search for it on on youtube i couldn't find it and i said lord would you help me and i slept it didn't take long when i slept i was in a dream and i went back to my laptop i listen to me true story and someone came and found the message for me and they played the message for me in the dream beginning to end so i woke up listen i had listened to the message and i remembered everything there are some things you see god do for a man and you'll be like god you are not fair god says it's not that i'm not fair this guy has attracted me with so much passion it's, it's a love affair that's why many people stop at the outer court they cannot eat the hallowed bread but there are some people what somebody is fasting for for 10 days god will carry it as a gift and give a man who truly loves him there are sisters cat walking all around hoping that one brother will get to see them whereas another gentle sister is just saying lord come let me use you lord i love you and I seek you with all my heart. And in that seeking, God will just wake a brother who is sleeping in the night. 
and you just wake up shut out at god will say keep quiet this is not what we are talking about you see that lady she's your wife say lord please this is not the time god will say have you submitted to me or not say fire on. let me tell you the cheapest route to the hand of god is force his heart to come to your direction hallelujah that's the greatest church growth principle i know you can give people balloon and exercise book after service you can give them eclairs you can put all kinds of things put screens all around transport them to their houses if your heart does not pant after god let me tell you there are certain dimensions it's not demons god himself will stop you from entering hallelujah you will seek me and you will find me i listened to a very powerful um 26 minutes video about passion and hunger for god and one 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 asian was talking to the people it inspired me and blessed me so much and he gave an analogy he said if you if you lose a I think is it a 10 or 50 cents if it falls in the night a coin maybe 10 or 50 cents and it falls in the night will you look for it if you check it around and you don't find it a coin that is so cheap pastor will you spend all the night looking for it but if you have a check of hundred thousand dollars that they gave you not you and your friend and it disappears even if it's the realm of the spirit you will use light and bring it back into this realm so tell me is god a cheap coin for you that you search if you don't find him no problem any other thing matter some of us can begin to seek god until a man comes into your life or until a woman comes or until you make five points or until you get that job you hear people say i'm busy i'm busy you are not busy when your leg breaks and they hang it for three months in shika no going anywhere you sit down there you are not too busy but the one who can protect and preserve you it's amazing how people claim they are too busy for god say i'm too busy i have an appointment go is it not when god takes you there safely i don't mind waiting I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting on you, Lord. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. This was the secret of David. Look at a man called David. See all the bad, bad things that David did. And it was as if God didn't see it. Go and study the life of David. And see how many criminal offenses David committed in his lifetime. Every bad thing you can imagine. Stealing somebody's wife. Kill the husband. Huh? Slept with Bathsheba and when the first child died he did repent he still had Solomon with her again ate the temple shoe bread did all kinds of things yet hear the testimony God said he is a man after my heart that's why the guy accessed some realms he saw things that were not given for his dispensation to see it was david who sat down and his love for god he said how can i be in a palace like this and there is no house for my god although you do not need tents to dwell in but i will build you a house god said no you you're already a criminal you won't build me a house he said no problem god i love you i'm not offended i will put the money for my son and god said what kind of man is this there is a way you love god that god you you try to force god to be guilty if he does not bless you just love him don't ask him anything it's in his word he says any man that cannot cater for his family you make yourself the child then you come and make yourself like the wife of this one come on now 
you have placed God in a tight position that he must respond he called the nation of Israel the apple of his eyes try to touch the apple of a man's eyes and you will see how his hand will reach to you and slap you and the Bible says the right hand of God is power that's where Habal is got it that you, you can go to a burial ground have you had those kind of stories a hand will appear from nowhere and slap you and the guy will become deaf so what about the right hand of God that is power when God stretches that hand Acts chapter 4 they said that you will stretch forth your hands when God stretches his hands it will clear the way the breath of his nostrils parted the Red Sea is it that God cannot save us listen I want to give us a food for thought and we will pray the way many of us treat God we are not sure whether God can come to our rescue or not what is a husband what is money what is a car brothers and sisters what is a house what is HIV that God cannot take it away what is ministry what is ministry that God cannot give you increase Jesus entered a city and it was noised abroad. What is a child that God cannot give you? What are demons that God cannot keep them far from your life? Is the cause of on your life so great that God cannot help? You are not the first to go through affliction. Ah, I'm looking for money to marry. It's just two months for my marriage. Keep quiet. Seven days, God created the heavens and the earth. How long does it take to give you money? Are you the first to get married? Or is your wife, did she descend from heaven? What is the special arrangement? My child's school fees, really? You've not heard of people that God will stop from sleeping in the night to respond to those who truly love him. I cannot tell you how many times people will send me texts in the middle of the night and say the Lord woke me and said I must send you a seed I must send you recharge card and I said Lord what are you doing to me I found a secret when you love him don't just seek to serve him yet emoji don't just seek to serve him yet seek to love him back up the name of your ministry whether it's, it's revival Tawa incorporated I'm not saying God didn't call you just keep it aside win the heart of God and you will ride on the wings of a dimension of his grace that you cannot experience or that you have never experienced before is someone getting blessed tonight this is a missing ingredient and so the apostle says it this way may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ we recite it after every meeting the love of God the koinonia the participation of the spirit let it remain with you I love God with my life this is the biggest secret I'm not the most gifted minister I'm not the most anointed minister I'm not the most eloquent minister I'm not the most intelligent minister I'm not the most experienced minister but one thing I can tell you ask God I love him oh I love him with my life and I love him with my heart I love him more than power I love him more than everything I love him more than all of this uh, this swan water and this bottle together with this serviette inside I love him more than this chair I love him more than anything marriage children wife husband mother father if you stand my way with god you already know you have lost that's the end of it do you love god that much god is asking you this question for when you do you will see power in your life you don't need to talk too much we just returned from university of ibadan and goodness what the lord did in that campus humbled me I've seen the hand of God and I see the hand of God week in, week out. But to see the humbling thing that, that, that it was so humbling. The wife of the commissioner of police of the state had to follow us to our hotel and stay there. 
and we were talking with this woman till about 12 in the night she wouldn't go i had to be prophesying and praying for her and she gave her ipad for someone to record it she said my husband needs to see this this is the favor somebody has been sweating about sitting from morning till night in an office i want to see the commissioner of police they say see god he said no 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 i i know how we will do this thing because you think god wants your money i surrender all to you everything i give to you withholding nothing this will be our song this night withholding nothing tonight you will release that isaac withholding nothing withholding nothing sing i surrender all i surrender all to you everything i give to you holding nothing but holding nothing I was talking with one of my friends one time and he said he calls me emoji he said emoji you are enjoying no i'm seeing your picture on facebook all the time ministry is sweet oh you are just changing clothes and i was looking at the person i said look at somebody i've not seen after one year look at what is in his mind you see that that's what is in his mind to him he's enjoying crowds money he said you are rich oh you hear that boss is carrying people and I, i'm in my mind i'm thinking what is what is wrong with this brother because to him he now thinks one kind of magic happened do you know that you came into this ministry because god brought you it was a law that compelled you to come there was no guarantee that you would come but there was a guarantee that if i seek him i will find him and when you find him he will find everything he has his power his wisdom his grace this is the secret rise up on your feet we are going to pray hallelujah david I'm come you're going to sing that song again we are going to sing and we are going to pray listen for many of you two prayer points just two prayer points tonight the first is the prayer of release you're going to be crying and say lord I love you but truly you are not yet a priority there are i i don't know if i have that passion tonight forget about titles i don't want to know who you are in this place just cry to god and the second prayer is going to be a prayer for an encounter an encounter an encounter go ahead Withholding nothing. nothing Sing from your heart Lord I'm withholding nothing If you want the marriage Take it If you want the relationship Take it If you want my degree Take it If you want my life Take it If you want my ministry My anointing My money I sacrifice it My bank account My anointing Thank you, Papa. Holding I surrender. I surrender. Sing it from your heart. Shake it, take 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 now the lord said unto abraham abraham take thy son thy only son whom thou lovest and offer him upon a mount that i will show you you are going to pray prayer point number one lord where is that isaac in my life that thing i cannot release and let go who is that isaac where is that isaac 
what is that thing I cannot give you lift your voice and pray and say Lord it belongs to you it belongs to you some of you may cry as you are laying it down but let it go tonight let the intellect go tonight surrender it to him I declare that you are above that job. You are above that job. You are above that challenge. There is nothing my God cannot give you. Give him your heart tonight. Give him your heart tonight. Some of you need to rededicate your lives afresh. Outside. All the overflows. Some of us need to rededicate our lives. And say Lord I'm coming back home tonight. I've strayed from you. But I'm coming back home tonight. Holding nothing in. Hallelujah. There are some of us in business that took the place of God in our lives. You want to make money. Anyhow, you must make money. Others is ministry. You are now too busy for God. Too busy for the things of God. He's no longer a priority. Others academics others job before you got the job before you got the admission god was a priority right now we're so busy for him for others before you got married when you were praying and fasting and dropping offerings everywhere now the husband has come now the wife has come for many of us is your health when you were trusting god dying of hiv dying of cancer dying of a terminal disease you sought god but now that it has gone there's no time for him again we're holding nothing holding nothing hallelujah still praying number uh, prayer point number one you're going to pray you're going to say lord even if you never bless me again in this life you already have my heart the issue of backsliding or complaining will never occur in my life again even if the breakthrough does not come come on lift your voice that was the secret of shadrach meshach and abednego they said oh king we know that our god will deliver us but even if he does not deliver us we will not bow Lift your voice and pray. Lord, I know you will bless me, but I love you more than the blessing. I love you more than my bank account. I love you more than my desire to be famous. Pray. Everything I give to you Withholding nothing, withholding nothing, withholding nothing. Hallelujah. Look at me. Job was at a point in his life where he was such a wealthy and a blessed man. The Bible says, Job testifying about himself, he said, In the days of my youth, when the secrets of the lord was upon my tabernacle he said i walked upon butter and i sucked honey out of the rock he said the young men saw me and they bowed their faces the old men saw me and they stood up that was the position of job 
and one day the devil went to the lord and said is it for nothing that this man serves you in other words his heart is not with you and god said you can touch everything don't touch his life let me watch and in one day his children went his cattle went everything went and job sores came out of him dogs will come and lick his sores and his wife the first lady of a community became an object of embarrassment all the friends left him and the wife told job he said do you still hold your integrity do you still hold your love do you love god that much to be a fool you have become a talk of the town people have mocked you job you were a great man do you not remember when you dined with kings and job looked at her and said why do you speak like one of these stupid women he said though he slay me yet will i praise him the bible says in all of this job sinned not it was not out of his mouth that he uttered anything bad he said i know my redeemer liveth and the bible says job was in a predicament but he stopped focusing on himself and he was praying for his friends when job prayed for his friends the only other person that did that was jesus and stephen on the cross he prayed for the people stephen and the bible says god turned the captivity of job and he had double of everything children cattle what are you going through that is challenging your christian integrity let me preach to somebody for two minutes what are you going through financial challenge your academics you may be on probation right now you may even be withdrawn let me tell you all hope is not lost the bible says go weeping and yours for the night you wrote jam seven times and it looks like nothing is coming some of you are due for graduation but you've been kept again and again can i tell you something like job i want you to speak tonight that though he slay me yet will i praise him all your colleagues have gotten married and you are the only one who is not married all other people have gone ahead of you they are even laughing they said they sinned and they are still blessed but you who has been righteous for years don't compromise your deliverer is coming i assure you god will ride upon the horse and come speedily to deliver you with holy nothing you may be married and it looks like your marriage is not working you're just smiling around but things are not working let me tell you your deliverer is coming some of you your homes are it's a place of living hell all kinds of war happened there father mother everybody some of you you are the only ones who are saved in your family and it's bringing a lot of challenge let me prophesy to you that if your heart is connected to god there is nothing my god will not give you the lord told me something years ago he said son if you will let men see me there is nothing i will not give you there is nothing i will not give you i have received things from god i cannot remember when i prayed for hallelujah the last prayer point and we'll round up tonight listen you're going to pray hallelujah and you're going to say lord give me an encounter that is bigger than the challenge i'm going through right now give me an encounter that is bigger than the success i've experienced so that whether my challenges or my successes they will not stand your place lift your voice and pray give me an encounter give me an encounter oh god lift your voice and pray give me an encounter open my eyes to see jesus open my eyes to see something bigger than my challenges open my eyes to see something bigger than ministry something bigger than titles Give me an encounter 
that will create the impetus for my spiritual life. No backsliding, no going back. Pray, I cry for an encounter. Open my eyes, oh God. Give me the vision of the night. Let me see Jesus seated on the throne. Let me hear his voice. Let me feel his embrace. Yeah, you have my everything. You have my everything. You have my everything. Yeah, you have my everything. Take all of me. All of me, Lord, you have my everything. Take all of me, all of me, Lord, you have my everything. You have my everything. You have my everything. You have my everything. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. When you seek me with all your heart listen hallelujah listen we're still in a prayer mode the altar call tonight is very special we're still going to pray don't stop praying if you've never given your heart to the lord listen or you know that you have backslidden as we pray like you to run from wherever you are inside or outside just come and be on your knees and be praying there are people god is calling back you know where you used to be don't be ashamed You've never given your heart to the Lord, inside or outside. As we pray right now, please leave your seat. Come out here quickly. Come out here quickly. Lift your voice and let's pray. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Quickly, quickly. Say, pray, pray, show, pray, pray, pray. Don't wait for anybody to call you. Come by yourself. Come and cry before your maker. Cry before your maker. Cry before your maker. Say, Lord, I'm returning home tonight. Cry before your maker. Yeah, 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 yeah,
it's not like you were backsliding you didn't realize when success started taking god out of your life when failure started taking god out of your life those of you in front cry i know there are some of you inside and outside that should be here whether you are here or not cry to god where you are and say lord i mean business with you i mean business with you i mean business with you beyond ministry i mean business with you i mean business with you i mean business with you i mean business he is supposed to come out and he did not come out he is supposed to come out i mean business with you Lord, we love you. Lord, we love you. We love you. We love you. We love you. From the depths of my heart, let everything else go. Let ev I don't care what it is. Let everything else go for the excellency of you. I won't trade you for silver or gold not for fame not for anything those of you in front keep talking to your maker he's listening to you your encounter tonight will be genuine you will know you found God you will never forget this day for the rest of your life Your light is come And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you John 1 verse 5, the light shines in darkness Arise, shine, the light is come And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you I will arise and shine Arise, my light is come, and the glory of the Lord, the glory of the Lord is risen upon me. Give us Isaiah 60 verse 1. If we can get it in Amplified, that's wonderful, otherwise no problem. Amplified says this, it says, Arise from the depression and the prostration that situations and circumstances have kept you. It says, Rise. To a new light arise from the depression and circumstance and prostration in which circumstances have kept you rise to a new life then it says shine be radiant with the glory of god let me tell you something there is an information that when you catch you can start laughing at your challenges you will not even pray about it again it will turn to laughter because you know that that truth will squeeze it into pieces i tell you this Hallelujah. Ah. Jehovah will be your everlasting light. He'll be your glory, your strength, and your sight. The light of the moon will be like the light of the sun. And the light of the sun will shine seven times as bright. When Yahweh binds up the wounds of this world Heals all the bruises inflicted by this world Truth There are things I found in my life about ministry There are things I found in my life about the anointing When I found them, I jumped Jumped Bishop Oyedeko will tell you that light broke And he screamed and turned and said Yeah, I will never be poor again there are other people who have caught certain things and they screamed and said i will never be a mediocre again what have you found i found your word and i did eat it it was a joy and a rejoicing say my son eat thou honey when you find this thing they are alive to those who find them not to christians there is something you can find believe me brothers and sisters 
if you have not found it you will think those who are talking are arrogant people there are people who have found things the bible says the kingdom of god is like a man who had a treasure and it was missing for as long as it was missing that man was redundant and then he took light and then he started checking it are we together could it be that there is an information that you need to know about god about life about yourself it was gideon who was hiding because there was an information he did not know and all of a sudden the angel appears and says in case you do not know here is an information you are a mighty man of valor and gideon said nobody has told me this i am the least in my father's family and we are the least in the tribe and that man arose from that revelation I'm walking in power, walking in miracles. I live a life of favor. I know who I am. I'm walking in power, walking in miracles. I live a life of favor. I know who I am. Everybody sings it. name of Jesus shout it say it again in the name of Jesus the days of ignorance are over in my life prophesy it say the days of ignorance the days of lies the days of deception are over in my life lift your voice and pray in one minute Lord I entertain your light there is something you can know about you that will bring you into the anointing there is something your mother told you growing up. You are a failure. But hear the truth. Hear the truth. There is something Africa is speaking to you. That we are a third world nation. But in the name of Jesus I declare. I believe the truth I believe the truth no more lies in my life everything that is not consistent with the Word of God I refuse to believe it why we look not at the things that are seen but the things that are unseen for the things that are seen are temporal subject to change hallelujah please sit down so they may look at you and say sister you are getting to 40 no husband will you ever marry that's their information you see when you introduce jesus to the situation the calculation changes uh -uh. something that should be zero just because you introduce the reality everything changes the psalmist said i had fainted but god i had fainted i knew that i was over all. But God, when they brought him into the situation, he changed everything. Stop listening to lies. There are lies on TV. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are lies that we hear on newspapers. Oh, stop tithing. All those men of God are out to collect your money. It's with your money they used to buy clothes. And they rob you and you listen to a lie and stay back and authorize Satan to destroy you. Our society is full of lies. People make money through lies. Jesus, the truth. There were many things. I didn't see many successful people in my life growing up. Those who were successful were very far from me culturally speaking societally speaking there was a mindset that was communicated but when i began to search the word goodness i found another report a report i was not born with and all of a sudden jesus said verily verily i say unto you he that believeth on me you know today we took a stroll um myself and the head of protocol 
after we went to greet a bereaved family we went somewhere and i was taking them inside the campus and i decided to take a tour of the new structures they are building and while i started passing some sites around the dam and down my eyes were almost i was trying to fight tears do you know why because i saw locations where years ago i sat down to study the truth i passed one place a botanical garden on your way to the dam i used to enter that corner and smuggle myself through somewhere and sit down broke but had access to the truth a failure and a mediocre but had access to the truth and this bible God gave me an assurance with the word. If you believe me, I will not play games with you. And I was stupid enough to believe. I said, Lord, after all, by default, I don't even have much. So if I don't believe you, I don't have any option. Ah! Look what is made in my life. Listen, if you choose to believe the truth, he will change you. They've lied to you that your life is not doing well just because um, there, is, there, is, uh, there is something you are not, you know, you need to go and connect to this, you need to do that. I believe in favor, but favor is only when it comes from God to men, not from men. If you don't give 150,000 to so, so, so person in federal ministry of this, you will never get a job. That's how we do it. You are not part of the we. And you find out. And the Bible says that when a man's ways pleases the Lord, that's the truth. That he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. Are we together? Listen, the part of scripture you find and believe is the part that works for you. You can see two people operating on different dimensions of realities. Is the part you find. I have found from this word listen and I don't want you to be offended by what I'm saying but I found from this word that it is possible for a man to fulfill his days I found it I used to fear death I think it's one of the things we all fear because the teaching I got about death was that any day can meet you anytime and it looked like a very sincere talk until I searched I said, God, but how can I live my entire life being afraid? I'm going to live a life traveling all the time. Right? I'm in the air. I'm on road. In the morning, in the afternoon, there are armed robbers, weather conditions. What is the guarantee that I'm going? I mean, I can't live my life. I'm going for a crusade somewhere and I'm afraid. I want to go and heal the sick, cast out demons. But me, the man of God that God will use, you are now afraid whether you arrive safely. As soon as you arrive, your heart returns back and you are like, hey, thank you, Jesus. What is torturous way of living? But there is a truth. Ha! Ah. There is something you can hold and dear death you look at it in the face and say oh death where is thy sting now you see until you have caught that truth don't make mouth this is the problem we talk nonsense in church and say all kinds of things and become victims it is the encounter of the burning bush that qualifies you to stand before pharaoh when you have seen the burning bush you can stand before pharaoh and say hey pharaoh stop oppressing god's people because Pharaoh will not let you go just because you can speak English. Jesus, the truth. Let me tell you something. Life will dare you to your face. It will take the truth to build a world of fortification. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I believe the word of God. That's why we are gathered here tonight. This is called a miracle service. There is no guarantee anywhere that anybody will be healed. There is no guarantee anywhere that devils will be casted out. Let me tell you, without understanding the truth, any action you take is arrogance. You make a fool out of yourself. What is the guarantee that in the next few minutes, the Lord is going to step in and begin to produce miracles in the lives of people? Is the truth. As at morning, when they were fixing this place, what was the guarantee that people were going to come and all the seats will be filled? What was the guarantee that people will be following us from over 45 nations of the world? Is the truth. There is an information you know. The power of God. That I believe you, oh God, and I'm ready to follow. 
you will not lie to me i believe you you are not a man that you should lie not the son of man i don't doubt him i believe you my experience is notwithstanding i still believe you number three jesus the life hmm. a revelation of his power and his ability to make a life jesus the life john 11 verse 25 to 26 an event happened there lazarus was a man who had died three days and then jesus said he sleepeth and they were going to go and resurrect him and when they went they saw his sisters crying now this was talking about physical death but it applies to every area watch this death does not just mean cessation of breathing it means cessation of life many of us are experiencing death in different areas of our lives when an organ fails that's death are we together the sons of the prophet were eating a meal and they looked and said ah there is death in this food and jesus said to her i am what what is resurrection bringing back to life something that is not supposed to have life again hallelujah that for me is the definition of hope 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 bringing back to life a dream that should not come alive again bringing back to life a destiny that should not come alive i live my life drinking and smoking is there hope for me jesus is called the resurrection i should have done well with my life but i'm 70 years now how many more years do i have when the resurrection comes he can bring back to life are we together i should have been a phd holder now but so 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 and so happened to me when the resurrection comes listen to me jesus has the power to make things that are dead in our lives come alive this is good news are we together so the bible says rejoice not over me my enemies you know my fall but you have forgotten that there is a mystery of resurrection rejoice not over me yes i know for now i do not have a job i lost my job yes i know that this and that may have happened in my life but there is jesus the life he can put life back he can put life back let me show you something the bible says very interesting well let's finish it i am the resurrection and the life he that believeth in me although his kidney were dead he can come alive he that believeth on me although his finances were dead he can come alive do you know that hopelessness is is one of the major causes of depression in our society you know what hopelessness is a perception that there is no press to anything that is worth producing any result again and people just give up society is full of angry people who just walk around and say look there's no hope no hope for this child no hope for this no hope for me again no i'm already past menopause no child let me just agree that i will never have a child in my life listen to what the bible says job chapter 14 please give it to us 7 to 9 job chapter 14 read it with me please one to read for there is hope for a tree for there is hope for joshua selman for there is hope for any life are you hearing what i'm saying for there is hope in spite of that medical report humanly speaking you should put your house in order ask hezekiah when a true prophet came and said hezekiah i've heard from god when a man hears from god who else do you consult but hezekiah said no way i know this mystery there is resurrection there is life there is hope he turned his face and said god let's talk i know isaiah is your prophet but i'm your child too let's talk remember now come on god do 
don't act as if you ignore me like that and god said ah, 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 ah. he has compelled a dimension listen let me tell you tonight you have to insist for some things to come back to life don't go some of you don't even pray over some things again because in your mind you have concluded it's over that business will never come alive let you just give glory to god it's over it has gone that destiny will never come alive but it's okay i already know that i would never walk again my leg can not walk so my focus now is to just succeed i am the resurrection and the life it says for there is hope for a tree if it be what cut down i like that word cut down not rooted out cut down means the root is still connected the mistake the enemy made was to still leave you loving God I, I, I know you lost you lost joy you lost peace you made a mistake I know you now have a baby it should not be but the mistake was that you were cut down not rooted out and the Bible says that it will what sprout again talk to me agriculturists that you know that you can cut a tree and children can even put satellite dish on the tree yet it still starts growing have you seen a tree that they use for pole wire it doesn't stop the tree from growing hey. i hear the joy coming hey i hear the breakthrough coming I hear the sound coming Sound of abundance and joy I see the lifting coming yeah. Hold on Listen I tell you that the, the anointing of God is strong upon me Sit down, sit down, sit down Give us that scripture again Give us that scripture Because God wants to make a statement with this miracle service tonight he says for there is hope everybody say there is hope let the devil hear you let all the people who have sat down together in a meeting and say will she ever rise with this carryover with 11 carryovers will you ever rise the bible says there is hope for a tree there is hope for a tree It says that it will sprout again and that the tender branch will not cease we're reading to verse 9 though the root thereof be waxed old in the earth and the stock thereof die in the ground verse 9 yet hold on it didn't say through the arrival of water the scent proximity to life proximity to life the moment you come into a place where there is life it has not touched you yet your roots resonating with life listen listen those of you who have done physics there's something they call resonance is that true that when you use a tuning fork and hit at a frequency every other object within that frequency answers to it you were designed by the life-giving spirit so when satan tries to bring death and then you are seated somewhere and you come into an environment where there's life deep starts calling on to deep your dream starts telling you i'm ready to come back to life forget the fact that i failed rejoice not over me my enemy we live in a society who are experts at burying people before they die Ah, look at this mama nine children all useless and she's coming for koinonia and they say keep going mama tonight the resurrection and the life the resurrection and the life hear me how about a man of god you know god called you you know he anointed you but truly you have not seen increase not in your life oh god where will the anointing come or maybe you were once anointed and something happened in your life and things went down and listen it is true that jesus died but did he die forever he died only for three days while he had resurrected men were still talking about his death could it be hold on could it be that some of you while you are in this meeting now other people are talking about your past life 
they don't know resurrection is happening they are still sitting discussing yesterday so every time they look at her they say i know this lady oh this lady is the most nonsense lady in our environment you were right but ask rahab shabbatos kotabriata hmm. listen do you know why god instructed that they killed everybody in jericho he did not want anyone who knew rahab's past to be part of those who follow her because she would be part of the lineage of jesus listen when god wants to make nonsense of satan he will keep quiet and allow men finish tearing you down sometimes you can even join them and tear yourself and then when he's done he says let me now show you the expertise let me show you what makes me god and he starts building many people conclude on men because they don't know god this god we serve are we together i always use promises promise come 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 with all my heart you would have concluded this guy was a capon in black acts are we together years ago with dreadlocks he came to zaria with dreadlocks and earrings he was an occultist of the highest order a territorial commander he ran away because they were about to imprison him but brothers and sisters rejoice not over me my enemy no 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 help them under the anointing please you would have concluded that this brother will never become a because our big mouth in society we are experts at talking about people but while they were talking about saul god was seeing paul ah. apostle but i don't even know who my father is i'm not sure they told me that fair woman is my mother that's the kind of background i came from don't worry the god of israel is an expert look at his life now a fiery man of god with grace and power and anointing hallelujah they had concluded on zacchaeus you are a thief you are a fraudster you are an armed robber and when god was going he had to climb the tree and god said come down zacchaeus is your house i'm going let me show you that I'm, I'm going to your house and at once zacchaeus said i will repay everybody and zacchaeus completely changed hear me i came to preach to someone tonight there is a dimension of jesus called jesus the life the life the life jesus the life jesus the life jesus the life, jesus the life. That everything that has died in a man's life can come alive even time can come alive that's the God that we serve hear me you have come tonight some of us from far some of us from several things and you have come to encounter Jesus the life the life giving spirit he can put life back to your finances and the money you lost 10 years combined in one month can return to you listen 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 please let's not make this thing look as if we are acting we're talking about god here apostle but this is 10 years no child and they told me that there are all kinds of cyst and growth in my stomach and then when the resurrection comes he all of a sudden first child triplets second child twins you say god stop he says stop what my name again that child one three to one registers his name the years that the canker worm has eaten hear me hear me mordecai Mordecai did something that was good and he was his testimony was archived in a book and dropped quietly you see ba, there is a day God gets angry and vows by his name I have seen this truly speaking that God vows a vow read it through scripture that he wants to lift a man 
when God vows a vow to lift a man I tell you not even your personal faith will stop you there is such a thing that God can say the appointed time is come I've seen people lifted overnight and frankly speaking sometimes they've not even understood certain principles God just vowed with his name tonight I want your faith to be please look listen you have come before God this is not a cinema to watch film you have come with your heart open I want you to insist tonight all these three dimensions are dimensions that for a ticket but I perceive that one of the greatest dimensions we need is life there is too much death there is too much death in people's life dead organs hold on listen there are people here they can't walk 10 minutes a young man 25 35 you walk 10 minutes you breathe as if you would die they go to the hospital and say mr man almost everything we see is wrong you need life oh you need life there are many ladies here with all kinds of lumps all kinds of demonic things satan attempting to put another life because there are many kinds of life but when his life comes when his life comes there are destinies you look at them like walking corpses you know everything is there no favor no open doors there are many men here you are hard working but there is no life you are just a body walking sweating toiling the cause of hardship from morning till night living from hand to mouth the key is not promotion the key is life life to draw from you again hey, hey. to drink from you again hey, hey, hey. to drink from you again hey, hey, hey. we've come to the wrong working out the same tonight I insist lift your voice and pray Lord I can't go back the way I came I place a demand a demand on your anointing a demand on your Prayer point number two change my level, oh God. Change the dimensions. Take me to another level. Everything that is a 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There's a lot to do tonight. We're going to do it in this order. I'm going to take the altar call now. And then tonight we're going to start with the sick. I just sense a very strong manifestation of the healing anointing. Hallelujah. Now, quickly, let me have your attention. My God, the power of God is so strong, so strong. I already see activities of angels. You are in this place inside outside any of the overflows one two three four by the roadside i told you that the cure for the challenges of men is an encounter with jesus and there are people here some of you may be visiting for the first time but you know that you need jesus genuinely not just as a religious philosophy you truly need jesus christ some of you at one point you handed your life over to him but things went haywire and right now you know that you need to run like there's fire on the mountain overflow one overflow two i'm going to count one to five please clear the way for them i want you to run as though you are thirsty and they told you where water is leave your seat right now and run whether you are inside or outside i'll count one to five keep standing one koinonia celebrate them Two, are you running? Run to Jesus. Lord, I'm tired of my life. Tired of the way things have been. I can't pretend it. I'm running to you now. Three, celebrate them. Are you running? Leave your seat. Break your pride and run. I need Jesus in my life. I need Jesus in my life. This is a, a matter of urgency. This is no pretense. This is no church. I need Jesus in my life. Have you decided to follow Jesus? No turning back. Run! No turning back. Have you decided to follow Jesus? No turning back. No turning back. One more time. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. Turning back, I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. I'm seeing three people in overflow three there, and the Holy Spirit is telling me they are supposed to be part of these people. Overflow three, please quickly. There's so much to do. There are three people I'm seeing in overflow, three outside. And the Lord is telling me they should be there. Don't allow your friends stop you. I'm still going to give one more minute. One more minute. As the Holy Spirit is convicting you, you're saying, I want to come, but I'm a bit shy. Run, make your way quickly. Come and join us. Come and join us. hallelujah look at me please let them come and join those of you in front please look at me i salute you this is serious business here please there's there's nothing to be ashamed of hold on 
Hold on. Now, you see, when most people give their lives to Christ, they come in emotionally and some are not even serious. They come laughing, pinching themselves, Lord Jesus, and they are laughing and not serious. This Jesus business is life. We are not talking about a certificate. We are not talking about a husband or wife. The Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Please hear me. As you are here, make sure that your decision is genuine. No one condemns you, but I want you to mean it. Please don't, don't play games with God. This is the God of heaven. I want you to say this from the depth of your heart. All of you in front here and those joining quickly. If you are joining them, make your way to the front. Say this passionately and truly. Say, Lord Jesus. Say it again, Lord Jesus. Some of you are not saying it. Say it one more time, Lord Jesus. I believe in you that you are the Son of God. I believe that you died for me. I believe that you shed your blood for my sin. I believe that you resurrected for me. This night, I have heard your word and I declare that I need you in my life. I hand over my life to you from now and forever. I receive eternal life into my spirit. I declare that from today, I am a child of God. Satan, you had my confession. Stay away from my life forever in the name of Jesus. Let me pray for you now. Jesus, we present to you the ones you died for. When you hung upon that cross, you saw them. And they were worth your blood, your tears, and your death. I ask, oh God, by the power of your spirit, that you preserve them. Let this not be an emotional decision. I pray sincerely that today will become the beginning of a new season of your grace, your power, your mercy upon their lives. I declare your sins forgiven. I declare and declare that from today you walk in newness of life. I set you free from everything that holds you down in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. I congratulate all of you for making this most noble decision. Never forget this day. Never forget this day. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now, I will ask you to do something very quickly and then you come back and join the service. I want you to follow who is waving his hands. Follow that gentleman waving his hands and they will lead you out and there are a number of people who will welcome you have your details please cooperate with them and uh, all the people attending to them let's make it fast so that they can return back please politely follow them they'll ask for your details cooperate with them everyone this way let's honor them as they go very quickly <laughs> hallelujah can we help them? Let's make it fast. Now, we're going to do it this way. Um, I'm going to start praying for the sick right, right away. We're going to pray for the sick now so that we can take out time. Um, let's deal with the sick first. I already sense a very strong manifestation of the healing anointing. Lady, look at me. The Lord is asking me to stretch my hands. I command that devil. Let her go now. You had her confession. I curse you by the God of heaven. I released you now. I'm seeing this lady tied snakes from her leg to her head. I set you free. This is koinonia, the place of encounter. I decree and declare that from today, you are set free. And there's something I'm seeing in your stomach. I decree and declare that it leaves you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, we're going to pray... Uh, there are certain cases I want to deal with by myself tonight. Um, any case, please listen. Any case, whether you are in any of the overflows, please, I will pray for people. Overflow one, I want you to march to your overflow. Those who are trusting God, you came here with for yourself or for your loved ones. Um, but let's do it this way. All those who are trusting God for the fruit of the womb, if you have an issue with barrenness or a blood-related disease, HIV, cancer, 
or any deadly disease whether you are in the overflow outside or what please come in and i want to minister to you myself hallelujah that doesn't mean please listen listen it doesn't mean if i'm not the one ministering to you you will not be blessed the anointing on me is upon everyone who will be standing to minister to you are we together now so let's not have a rowdy um a crowd there so overflow one i like all of you who are trusting god to be prayed for please i want you to move to your projector stands overflow two um overflow three those online connect by faith and um, we're going to be praying for you those inside make your way very quickly the special cases that i ask make your way quickly quickly please we have to be very fast there's a lot to do the reason why we take our time to minister to people like this is because god has anointed us for this reason hallelujah god has anointed us it's a privilege to carry his anointing and we must take our time to release blessings to god's people make your way quickly look how many people need the touch of god what a joy and a blessing to have the anointing and the ability to touch people can we all pray as a family whilst they are coming and ask the lord to touch and heal and bless everyone lift your voice and pray everyone lift your voice lift your voice pray it's a miracle service please those that are coming in from outside make sure it's only blood related diseases terminal diseases terminal diseases otherwise you can just wait at your projector stand and then they'll pray for you father you have anointed you have anointed us in this place you have anointed this house to be a tabernacle of miracles lord you have produced untold testimonies is a privilege to be extensions of your hand again ministering to the needs of your people it is your desire that in every territory there must be a place where men and women can find the power of god at work and lord thank you for making this such a place tonight we pray that there will be abundance abundance of your anointing in the name of jesus tonight is serious business i really perceive that there is need to minister to people we're going to have um some of our leaders stationed in various places please i want you to trust the anointing upon them as they come to minister i'm going to just make contact with them um there will at least be two two at different different points and then we're going to pray praise the lord we'll make it very very fast and trust god to minister to you please come um pastor femi Ejimi, pastor alpha west benga promise how many of you i think we need eight people i have to lay hands on you because i sense that we need we need a, a great one two three four five uh, michael come one of these days we'll begin to train other people and help the, the idea is to help and build people um, Mike leave the keyboard um, someone else can play the keyboard you can come this is an opportunity we're going to lay hands and then we're going to trust God um, Shade will you be strong come she's always had the healing anointing you have the strength please come this lady you see it's a compendium of the healing power of God and um, so we're going to pray I think this is okay we're going to pray please those outside if if they don't ask you uh, if they are prophesying to you it's a different thing if they are giving you a word of knowledge it's all right otherwise you don't have to start talking talking and doing all of this Lord we agree right now in Jesus name my God there's such anointing on my hands as they lay hands on the people Lord I decree and declare let your power flow in such dimension in such magnitude in the name of Jesus Christ let the anointing of the Holy Spirit come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit let the fire of God come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare that you will carry the anointing of the Holy Spirit um, Shade and promise will go to the overflow outside here by the road Shade and promise Benga and um, Femi this overflow and then Mike and Pastor Alpha will be at the overflow, overflow three now. Um, Ejimi, 
will be with me here pastor alpha um huh? okay two of you are there okay fine who is left michael okay then join them outside this overflow here and then we'll walk with a jimmy inside here praise the lord lord we decree and declare let there be miracles right now let there be signs let there be wonders in the name of jesus let there be such a strong move of the spirit let the sick be healed while this is happening please um i want you if you need to make calls and ask your loved ones to submit their prayer requests let's do that very quickly we're trying to conserve time as well as maximize the grace that is available hallelujah lord we give you all the praise in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ so we we'll pray for you now i want you to trust god for miracles trust god for miracles insist that god must give you a miracle hallelujah praise the lord as we worship in your presence there is healing the holy spirit gentle touch is flowing jesus in the name of jesus christ i believe There is healing in your name As we worship As we worship in your presence There is healing The Holy Spirit The Holy Spirit gentle time Is flowing It's flowing
I want you to believe that there is no power holding on to your destiny that will go back with you. Please believe this night. There are strange spirits that are responsible for the sufferings. You see this dear lady? This lady came all the way from Lagos. Had to resign her job to come here because she was tired of what was happening in her life. It's not just about employment. Came here. This lady came, I think it was last week, all the way. Because she was nothing at all. She was employed, but oppression after oppression. There's somebody in the congregation. I'm, I'm seeing like... Uh, the Lord is opening my eyes. This is strange. And I don't know what it is that I'm seeing that has to do with elephants. I'm seeing an elephant. And I'm seeing like fire coming. This is a deliverance for someone in the congregation now as I'm talking. Um, I'm praying for the sick, but we're going to minister to other needs. But right now, the Lord is asking me to minister to such a person. So I'm declaring right now that every manipulation of spirits that resonates with what the Lord showed me, Right now, from here, I decree and declare there is no peace for the wicked. I command judgment right now in the name of Jesus Christ on such a person, wherever you are in this congregation, I decree and declare right now that the power of God touches you right where you are. Right where you are. Right where you are. In the name of Jesus. Right where you are. Right where you are. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing someone at the minister's stand. The minister's stand. I'm seeing something like an arrow shooting out of your body. Lord, in the name of Jesus, whoever that person is, it must go now. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, every strange devil, every strange spirit, we decree and declare that this environment is completely not conducive. Completely not conducive. In the name of Jesus. I want you to look at this. Look at look at what look at what the devil can do. This is a human being's face. Mama, come. Madam, is this her mother? Mommy, come. How long has this been? This is one year now. A year one plus. Year. A year plus, yes. Her face just started swelling. It started bleeding from the nose. And before you know, it's her, one of her, this her eyes. I out. prayed for her the last time. Yes. You see it going down? Yes, I see it you going down. You see it from the last time? Yes. Who was there when you saw yes. the last time? It's going down. You see it going down now? Yes. I prophesy that in the name of Jesus Christ, right now, that the way this thing has started going down, it must go down normally. And then, Mama, any human agent that is responsible for this thing happening, are we together? If I am a man of God, that person must die this night. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because I'm looking at you. Hold on. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing the face of a woman. And I'm seeing a woman sitting on the ground. On ground like enchantment. I say it again. Whoever is responsible for terminating, attempting to terminate the destiny of this lady by the God of heaven, May the ground open and swallow her now. God bless you. See, let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. Wickedness is very, very real. Very real. Very, very real. Very, very real. I want you to lift your voice in one minute and say, Father, judgment tonight. Pray. Lift your voice. Shabakato soto bakata Lembre kete kata tata Reketo sepe keriata Everything that must give way For the next level of my destiny to be open I command it so Now By the power of the Holy Ghost Pray inside, pray outside Pray By the anointing of the Holy Ghost Pray Shaka toko 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 kes Rekete kete kata bada 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 bas Mata kato shepre kete Lente pre keta basha barada barada bada bas Leketa pros kata baranda kapras kata bada tos Are you praying? Make sure you are praying Let us 
not going out. Out! 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 I see the rain of your love. I feel the wind of your spirit. Now the heartbeat of heaven. Let us hear. I see the rain of your love. I feel the wind of your spirit. Now the heartbeat of heaven. Let us hear. So let it rain. going to pray seriously right now um, I've been seeing a lot of visions while praying for the sick hallelujah there are, there are many many demons that must go many not few many oppressed all kinds of um, strange strange demons bring this girl come bring her I'm seeing a spirit bring her let her go now Victory belongs to Jesus. Listen, hear me. Now, we are going to pray serious. That's why I took out time to maximize the healing anointing because um, we want to finish fast. We have leaders meeting. However, um, now that we have dropped this, please just focus. You have prayed now. Let me minister to you. Praise God. Stand up, please, everybody. We have to pray. These are the wicked spirits that are responsible for families families tonight i see an uprooting i tell you listen i want you to stand because i'm seeing people running out now by the spirit not like wanting to run away the spirit running with them that's why i'm saying i'm i'm asking the people to stand we are going to pray please listen i want you to believe the forces that tie your life tie your destiny it's time for us to pray it's time for us to agree are we together i want you to cooperate with me and let's pray they are strange spirits you will bring them out some don't be embarrassed this this has to do with families this has to do with individuals are we together now are we together yes we are going to pray i'm seeing like a ghana must go and i'm seeing it tied in the spirit whose destiny is that oh god it's time to be loose now bring them out Please, I need strings, strings of the flowing sound, please. Bring them out. Shake it, take it up. Braka doso toba shata. At his word, every demon, every devil. There's no hiding place for any power of darkness. I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus. Bracato shoto break it abada. Hallelujah. Please hold your hands together. I want to pray a prayer. You are going to help your neighbor now. Something strange is going to happen to people. I want to pray because I'm seeing like fire passing from people to people. This this contact must be maximal. Lord, I pray. Anyone who is a victim of any oppression, as this fire passes now, in the name of Jesus. Once you see your neighbor manifesting, please let them come. In the name of Jesus, I release that fire right now. From road to road, from people to people, from road to road, inside, outside. I command every stranger, every stranger, every stranger, in the name of Jesus, every stranger, outside, overflow one. Overflow two, overflow three, online. I cost that devil right now. That fire is burning. That fire is burning. Every principality, every power. Shaka ta 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 ta. Outside, mighty deliverances. Outside, 
from row to row. The power of God is setting people free. It's time for yokes of captivity to give way. It's time for age long captivities to give way. Haroto Sose Sesia Tata Rakatos Kabaria Dabala Koto Shubia. Hallelujah. Everyone say after me in the name of Jesus. Just do what I'm telling you to do. Say in the name of Jesus. Every yoke of delay over my life, over my family, be judged now. Now watch what happens to you. I decree and declare, anyone with such yoke, I command judgment now. Judgment now, now, on those forces. Let them go now. Let them go now. Let them go now. Please lift your hands. Shabaratos Kotosh. Tonight I trust God for an extensive time of deliverance. Listen, the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing snakes. This is what I'm seeing coming out from holes. Anyone here tied by any spirit, they come to you in the night to sleep with you. Fire at the count of three. One, two, three. Right now. Visitors of the night, strangers of men's destinies, I judge you by the God of heaven. Inside and outside. I judge you by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. Please put your hands. Sisters, lift your hands. Sisters, lift your hands. Sisters, lift your hands. I want to pray a very serious prayer right now. Sisters, lift your hands. If there is anyone here having any spirit molest you in dreams appearing as men appearing as women appearing as animals at the count of three as you shout Jesus Jesus the life is destroying any dead are you ready one two three I command those devils those strangers Strangers, powers of witchcraft, molesting people, the daughters of Zion, I curse you, I curse your covenants. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Say, every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Hallelujah. I saw what I'm seeing now in much miracle service. And the Lord is asking me to stretch my hands. I'm seeing padlocks. That's what I'm seeing. This is representing men's destinies. Nothing is happening in your life. You are not lazy, but doors have refused to open. Right now at the count of three, I want everyone to shout Jesus. As loud as you can. Some of you will literally be caught up in visions. And you will see the doors of your destinies open. Right now, oh God, I declare that every padlock over any man's destiny over any man's life at the count of three they are open one two three be open be open be open be open be open destiny open up
Alléluia. The Lord is asking me to take away the spirit of death over families. Listen. You may not even know, but I want you to believe. I want to pray for you. Death is a spirit. Death is a spirit. Death is a spirit. I'm speaking now. Death is a spirit. Oh, death, where is your sting? Right now, I'm seeing at least 47. I'm seeing the number 47. Every family with death hanging over them. Fire. 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 Upon every family, fire, fire, the spirit of death broken. Hallelujah. Can I pass through the crowd for a moment? I want God to do a quick walk. Please listen. I don't do these things out of religion. It is the presence of God. The presence of God. I don't have time and there's no opportunity to lay hands on anyone. But listen. I just come across your role. I just want you to believe. Listen. Except it is not the spirit of God. But any other strange spirit aside from God, regardless of what it is and what is causing in your life, it must give way right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, just play me. Father, in the name of Jesus. Listen, please, I want you to believe. This is not about human worship. But as I pass your road, I'm seeing fire on my left and right. Tonight is the ministry of fire. And like a wildfire, it will pass you and begin to consume things. Some of you, as I pass that physical fire, that heat, Lord, let it be right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Rakoto shoprekete barato kosia. Rakato toto ketata. Rakato shabariakata. Take it here. That fire, fire. Judging everything. Judging every evil from every row, row to row, row to row, row to row. That fire right now, every witchcraft, every power, every witchcraft, every power, tying anyone. Someone's womb is being loose now. Someone's womb is being loose. Someone's womb is being loose. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can I go out? Is it, is it possible? Those outside, lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Hallelujah. Please, quickly, we're out of time. We have to conserve time. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, all of you right here, through this place, I'm looking and I'm seeing change in the spirit. And as I pass this overflow, please, I want you to believe that every captivity must come to end. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? It must come to end. Father, I give you all the praise right now. Right now. A chain is leaving somebody here. A chain, a chain, a chain, a chain. Go, go, go. Now, 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 now. Chains, 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 chains. I break it now. Break it now. I break it now. I break it now. I break it. In the name of Jesus. You don't have to touch me. Just be. There's somebody here. The yoke of delay is breaking now, now. Now, now it's breaking now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Breaking now, break now, breaking now, breaking now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, breaking now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, 
I'm seeing a cloud on this place. I release that fire. It's breaking now. Right, right, right now, right now. In the name of Jesus, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Help them, help them. Please hold them. Elisha, 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 who is that, Elisha, where are you coming from, maybe you, sir. maybe you, maybe you here, yes. I want to pray for you, the Lord wants to give you and your family breakthrough, Elisha, I wish we had time, but in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm declaring. What's your name? My daddy's name is Elisha. Your daddy's name is Elisha. That's all right. I'll pray for you. Why are you here? You are Elisha. Look at me. I want you to believe in the prayer I'm going to pray for you. God is going to give you strength in your peace. Amen. I'm seen like a shrine on fire. Hold on. I'm seen like a shrine on fire. And that fire in that shrine will manifest physically over somebody's life. It's time for this family to be set free. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. It's time to be set free. It's time to be set free. Elisha, I pray for you. Now hold my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare something is leaving you now. As I'm holding your hands, I'm seeing something leaving you. Let it go for you and your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your dad needs breakthrough. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Lord brings that breakthrough right now. The Lord brings that breakthrough right now. Please, if we can get some of the people outside, make sure everyone is protected under the canopy. Otherwise, let's see how we can squeeze some of them inside. Even if it's just for the sake of um, when the rain minimizes, they can go out. Please, make sure nobody is standing in the rain. Those standing at the edges of the canopies, we can allow them to come in. Just come and squeeze them somewhere, please. Make sure, no, especially women with children, please. Please, make sure that we allow them, please. They can come, just stand anywhere. The goal is us, please. Just give them room, just orderly. They can come in and stand anywhere. recurrent issues the Lord is addressing them now our time is gone but I'm praying recurrent issues the power of God is going to fall on people now I don't know how those outside will do but I pray for grace for them but I'm seeing a grace to destroy recurrent issues issues that come you solve them and they come back again where are those people I stretch my hands right now in the name of Jesus that fire is visiting them now recurrent issues the lord is setting people free right now recurrent issues please help this this woman recurrent issues that devil is going right now in the name of jesus recurrent issues recurrent issues 
never again in the name of Jesus never again by the power of the Holy Ghost please I know it's raining but participate God is touching people I'm seeing it again recurrent issues issues that come and you think you are done with and they return back I decree and declare that fire is coming now that fire is coming now recurrent issues in the name of Jesus be set free right now be set free right now be set free right now hallelujah Toying. 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 what's your name my son name is Toying. Toying. I will pray for you I'm seeing serious witchcraft in this lady's family this is this is heavy satanic oppression huh? heavy satanic oppression all of you are toying what's your name my auntie Who? my auntie's name is toying i will pray for you please make sure you are toying don't come out carelessly but hold my hands I will pray for you. I will use you as a point of contact to pray for your family. Hold my hands with both of your hands. Your family must be free from witchcraft. Lord Jesus. Ah. Fire. Fire. On every altar. Fire. On every altar of witchcraft. I command. I use as a point of contact. And pray for every family under the yoke of darkness under the yoke of bondage i command your emancipation now i command your emancipation every family under the yoke of darkness Are you toying? My huh? You have bad luck. Bad luck on your life. Very bad luck. Hold my hands. Hold it with both of your hands. Lord Jesus, this is a miracle service. Set this lady free. This yoke of bad luck. I decree and declare that it must leave you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. It must leave you right now. Your sister. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. The same way God is touching her, may God touch you too. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, you are doing My auntie. Where is she? What is this for? This is my family. My mom left my dad some couple of years ago and became a Hold the photo. You believe that when I pray for you, God will touch them. Lord, visit this family right now. In the name of Jesus, I release the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, through you, let it touch your family. Please don't come out carelessly. Don't come out. Why, why is she out? Why are you out, my dear? Huh? My sister is there. Okay, I will lay my hands on you. Be free. Your, your mother. Your mother. Something is leaving your mother. In the name of Jesus. I curse that spirit. In the name of Jesus. Kai. What is this? Look at I'm seeing a snake. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a snake. I'm seeing a snake. I'm seeing a snake. Please just thank God it's raining. If you are inside, don't complain. Those outside are enduring the rain. Just keep quiet and allow God to visit you. Snakes. I saw a snake from this lady and I'm still seeing snakes around. There's no hiding place for darkness. I'm seeing snakes. Lord, let there be deliverances. Let there be deliverances. 
in the name of Jesus inside and outside let there be deliverances in the name of Jesus let there be deliverances let there be deliverances by the power of the Holy Ghost this lady come this one with the throne come God is going to use you mightily. Lift your hands. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a, a lady that God is going to use mightily. That doesn't mean after service you come and start disturbing her. God is going to use you. Father, let that grace, that fire, this lady is going to be mightily used of God. I decree and declare. I don't know you, but I declare in the name of Jesus Christ that you must be free. I declare don't worry deliver in the name of Jesus Christ every access given to you by darkness I close it now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost I close it now right now in the name of Jesus I close it right now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost I close it by the anointing of the Holy Ghost I release that fire and that power there is no hiding for any darkness release every breakthrough release every destiny in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ hold on I'm hearing Maimuna 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 I don't know if he's here or outside or someone your love Maimuna huh? is what your step okay Maimuna I'm seeing something else. I will pray for you. Memuna. The Lord is showing me something else. Your name is Memuna. My younger sister. My youngest. Okay. I lay my hands on you. Look at me. You are not progressing. Hold my hands. The Lord wants to move you forward. This is not even in the name of Jesus. I release you to move forward right now. I command that you move forward in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord gives you visitations by the power of the Holy Spirit. Ah, hold my hands. Hold my hands. Both of your hands. I lose you to prosper and I lose your family to prosper. You came out to stand for someone, but you are the one God is giving the visitation. I decree and declare it by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. You won't believe what I'm about to pray for. I'm seeing written in the air forgetfulness. There is a strange spirit that comes upon men and causes them to forget things. Right now in the name of Jesus Christ. If you are here, whether it is memory loss or strange forgetfulness, the things you should do, you forget them and you pay the price. Wherever you are, I release you from it right now. I release you from it right now. I release you right to the back, outside, all the overflows. Anyone who has that manifestation in their lives, I release them right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I release them right now. I release them right now. I release them from it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I release them right now. Why is he here? Why are you here, sir? Uh, my cousin is what? My cousin, we are here last week, but he didn't come today. Your what? My cousin, Tony. Tony. Okay. In the name of Jesus Christ, may God touch them, whatever their issues are. I declare that God will resolve it right now. In Jesus' name. I'm seeing somebody I need to pray for. Physical money disappears sometimes from your pocket sometimes from your bag i'm not talking of stealing listen to what i'm saying don't just come out carelessly Fis money you can hold money like this and count it and see that it is less it has disappeared who is that i need to pray for you it's a very serious issue yeah na 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 you hallelujah 
the Lord is showing me something very serious. There's somebody, um, don't be embarrassed. You woke up physically in the middle of it, the night. And now I'm not saying you idolize animals, but there was a rat, a physical rat, not running around. You were looking at it, it was looking at you like this. There's someone like that here. Rat, it was looking at you. You were, wave your hands, let me know you are the one I'm talking to. Come out, come and stand here. I'm not saying if you have rats in your rooms, that's not what I'm, this, this is a special, unique, demonic case. Come. Kai. This lady, I have to pray for you. Favor, zero. Breakthrough, zero. Trouble, 100%. Father, in the name of Jesus, change this face I'm seeing. Jakatos koprakato zakato liakata bakanda pratisya. Lekos kapranda gada suze breketekatos in the name of Jesus. Zekata atata suzia mante pros kata prande katodi akata shakas kende kos akras kate zeketons kamatan zekata reketo sekete kete kete bakata mam prato soto berekete riakata shase se 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 kata ma prato soto topaka embriata sada siata shakel kata mas kata bariakato embrekete kete 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 rekos koso so pekete kata me priata si se koto so bariakata break the chains break the chains break the chains break the chains in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. There is somebody, your grandmother appears to you. Your grandmother appears to you. Where is that person? Come. Don't be embarrassed. This is a serious issue. Our time is gone, but thank God it's raining. We are going to round up. Your grandmother, you see your grandmother. She appears. Who is that? Wave your hands. Come and stand here. It's a very demonic thing. Your grandmother appears to you. Come and stand. Grandmother appears to you. Who is that? Wave your hands. Let me know you are here. All of you that see your grandmother, come and stand here. We have to break you from that demonic thing. What fellowship has righteousness got to do with lawlessness? This Lagos lady, God is on your case because you need to be thoroughly, thoroughly delivered. There is a spirit that is oppressing you and there's no hiding place. You hallucinate. This lady literally sees things. She can be here physically. It's, you know what they call astral travel. She can live. Not vision. Live physically. This lady. I command that wicked spirit. In the name of Jesus. And whatever she sees about you. Except you are powerful. It must happen. It's a spirit. She doesn't even know why. In the name of Jesus. I'm looking at her and I'm seeing a cat. I curse you. By the God of heaven. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please don't be tired. I know our time is gone, but it's raining. Let, let, let's just visit these things because... Come. You are a beautiful girl, but no favor in your life. Shift. Let me talk to this, this yellow girl. Come, run. God wants to wipe your tears. Ah, I'm looking at you and I'm seeing something like a crown on your head. Come, you must be delivered thoroughly. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let this cause of disfavor this is a beautiful girl, but there's no favor in her life. Shato soto bakata. Randa koto soto kete barakata. I decree and declare every legal access of darkness. I curse it right now. I curse it right now. I open the doors. I open the doors from the realm of the spirit. Let there be favor over your life. In Jesus' name, hold on, sir. I need to pray for you. This encounters, supposed encounters, has retrogressed your life. I hear what I'm saying. I have to pray for you because you are not supposed to be at this level right now. You too. You see your grandmother. Where are you from? Calabar. No. Obudu. Obudu. Cross River. Obudu. Cross River. I have to pray for you. Please, if I if I didn't call, why are you here? Are you sure? you know why you are here? Huh? You see your grandmother. Kai. There's somebody here. Hold on. All of you see your grandmothers.
don't laugh you see let me tell you this is not some it's not mockery it's not i'm not saying every vision of grandmother is demonic please don't get me wrong these are very special strange wicked and demonic issues special strange wicked and demonic issues someone has fallen down there please let the doctors attend to the person make sure you are your brother's keeper so that they don't fall down and injure themselves hallelujah praise the lord hi you come what business do you have to do with dead people dead people eh? hold my hands say in jesus name say it seriously in jesus name every affiliation with the dead i curse it now i release an anointing upon you now everything you have to do with dead people in jesus name do you love jesus you love jesus huh mm -mm. you are not serious with jesus hold my hands how are you don't be embarrassed but um the first thing you need is your relationship i'm looking at you i can't i don't want to embarrass you but you need jesus seriously i love you eh? that's why i'm helping you i love you with all my heart go and meet the who um where's pastor alpha just meet him he will talk with you you need counseling is your own is not just grandmother god just brought you out here to in your destiny is needed please go and see i will talk to you now all of you who are having these issues i'm going to lay my hands on you now when i lay my hands on you i want you to believe there is this strange kai I'm seeing somebody, someone appears to you in the night. And when he appears to you, please don't come out at random. As soon as he appears to you, your spirit literally starts leaving your body. Literally, as in you feel yourself, you will come out and you will see you again lying down on the bed. There's somebody with that case, that situation right now. I have to pray for that person right now. I have to pray for that person right now something comes pulls your spirit out like it's going i will lay my hands on you all of you are so many father every affiliation with darkness i'm going to lay my hands on all of you very fast sir i'm i'm looking at you and i'm seeing the spirit of poverty and lack serious poverty yes sir eh? yes sir nothing works yes, your sir. life is like a basket anything that enters goes out i'm not embarrassing you eh? you are saying the money truth. leaves your hand even if they give you one million it must find a way of going yes, yes, sir. You are saying man, the but truth. money does not stay yes sir is that true yes sir do you tight yes sir. you are not consistent one two um you see this consistency of tightening is one way to drive the devourer god is not a magician you have to be consistent Praise God. God blesses you ten times. You tight once. Your heavens are completely closed. Father, in the name of Jesus, I lay my hands right now and I command breakthrough. In Jesus' name. Let me lay my hands quickly now. You're the God of miracles. Amazing God. You're the God of miracles. Go now and cost that spirit.
prophesy over your life now we're going to be very fast five minutes and we're out of this place please I want you to believe every prayer that is coming now every prayer come every prayer the Lord is taking you to a new dimension in the name of Jesus Christ a new dimension a new level cameraman God is wiping your tears Keep the camera first, wiping your tears in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is wiping your tears in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is wiping your tears. This lady, I'm praying God is visiting her family. That lady standing close to Ella. I'm seeing a vision that the Lord is going to show her a breakthrough. I'm commanding right now in the name of Jesus, everything tying down your families, particularly. The Lord is asking me to release family now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Now I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, I prophesy. Those outside, please follow me. Those online, follow me. Our time is gone, but let's just be patient. Two, three minutes, we're out of here. I decree and declare from tonight, move forward in the name of Jesus. Move forward in the name of Jesus. Move forward in the name of Jesus. Make progress 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 in the name of Jesus. Advance in the name of Jesus. Advance in the name of Jesus. Be fruitful in the name of Jesus. Be fruitful in the name of Jesus. Multiply in the name of Jesus. Anyone here who has lost anything in your life, I declare, I'm seeing 28 in 28 days. Shato Soto Koto Pakata. 28 days from now, I command that it comes back to your hands. I command that it comes back to your hand. I command that it comes back to your hand. Anyone here who has been victimized by life, by circumstances, by men, I decree and declare. May the God I serve vindicate you right now. Everyone here in need of direction. You are praying, oh God, I need to know what step do I take. In the name of Jesus tonight, strange encounters that bring you direction. Strange encounters that bring you direction. The yoke of poverty and hardship and lack I command it to live your life now I command it to live your life now live your family now live your destiny now I pray for every family represented here whatever you are trusting God for as a family I release my faith with you and I decree and declare that it is turned into your testimony now The kind of favor you have not seen from January till now, I decree and declare from tonight, not tomorrow, from tonight, let it start working in your life. Strange favor in your life. Strange favor in your life. God has placed his honor upon this ministry. I pray for you from today, anywhere you go, whether they know you or not, I command them to honor you. Believe it, I command honor upon your life. In the name of Jesus. Two more prayer points and we are done. Whatever has made your pace of your life slow. Some of you are moving forward but you are too slow for your destiny. At the rate you are going, you will not do much in your lifetime. I prophesy to you. 
in the name of Jesus receive the grace for speed receive the grace for speed do in one month what you have not done in five years in the name of Jesus Christ and finally I pray for you whatever has taken advantage of your spiritual life your prayer life your fasting life word life passion for God passion for the house of God right now I stretch my hands and I declare fresh fire on your altar prayer fire on your altar word fire on your altar fasting fire on your altar I decree and declare upon everyone receive a manifestation of the spirit of revelation in the name of Jesus let me add one last prayer point judgment upon the wicked let it begin tonight some of you don't like the prayer I say it again judgment upon the wicked in the name of Jesus Christ that every man woman boy and girl that partners with darkness to frustrate your destiny may the God of vengeance arise in the name of Jesus Christ wave your hands to Jesus father we give you all the praise we give you all the glory Thank you. dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message I want you to keep doing something for this man of God our man of God Apostle Joshua Salman and that is I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity and then don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye